Science is often a discipline that excludes a lot of people. There are a lot of kids who are like, they don't see themselves as scientists because when they look at scientists, no one looks like them. And STEM identity is that like belief that you can be a scientist. And I really want more people to be able to feel that. Our education system is failing science students. I mean, four out of 10 science students either drop out of their program or change majors altogether within the first year. And that number gets even higher when you look at female students and underrepresented minorities. It gets closer to six and 10. When we're letting anywhere between four and six out of every 10 students walk into a classroom and just giving up on them, that means that we're not giving them the support that we can. We want students to be able to use Labster no matter where they are in the world, no matter what language they speak, no matter what limitations they may have, vision impaired, hearing impaired, whatever else it may be, our goal is to empower the next generation of scientists to change the world. And that's really at the core of what we're trying to do right now. And of course, it includes all students, not just those who have, you know, speak English and live in uh, major cities in, in the Western world. A student who is visually impaired, hearing impaired, is able to fully participate in the simulation because of uh, our accessibility features, such as screen reading, keyboard navigation, and adjustment for colorblindness. And so this is huge because um, students with uh, disabilities might not always have the same access to a physical lab space uh, as other students. Labster's really tackling it head on. We take direct faculty feedback, direct student feedback, and make sure we're really driving into those issues. We've had really great success stories. I worked with one customer at a large public institution last year, and that was a big criteria for them. They wanted this to be accessible. And a few months later, I, I talked with that customer and they told me that they had a student that didn't have any arms and they took this online course and the student expressed gratitude for being able to take a science lab course without actually having to be in a wet lab. This is a step in the direction of being able to really include more people in the discipline of science, allow more people to see themselves as scientists. And that's, that's really, really important if we want to continue advancing science.